So what we need right now is a real debate about how to fix our economy, how to help the middle class, how to help people stay in their homes. That's not what we're getting from the other side. You know, a couple of weeks ago, my opponent's campaign said that if we keep talking about the economy, we're going to lose. So they, so they said they're going to be focusing on attacking me instead. Now, that's one campaign promise they've actually kept. All they've been doing is attacking me. They've been throwing everything at us, including the, including the, the kitchen sink. All seven of those kitchen sinks he's been throwing at me. He's... He's even called me a socialist. He's called... <laughs> He's called me a socialist for suggesting that we focus on tax cuts for the middle class instead of the wealthy, instead of for corporations. Then the other day, he took it to a whole new level. He said, get this, he said that I was like George W. Bush. That's what he said. Loco. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. In what may be the strangest twist, of this very strange election. Senator McCain said that I would somehow continue the Bush economic policies and that he, John McCain, would change them. He denounced the president for letting things get completely out of hand. That's what he said. Uh, John McCain, that's right, John McCain has been really angry about George Bush's economic policies, except during the primary when he said, we've made great economic progress under George Bush, or just last month when he said that the fundamentals of our economy are strong under George Bush, or the fact that he adopted all of George Bush's policies for his own campaign. I, you know, in fact, jo John McCain is so opposed to George Bush's policies that he voted with him 90% of the time for the past eight years. That's right, he really decided to stick it to George Bush 10% of the time. Let me tell you, John McCain attacking George Bush for his out-of-hand economic policies is like Dick Cheney attacking George Bush for his go-it-alone foreign policy. It's like Tano attacking the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Fortunately, President Bush doesn't seem to be at all offended because yesterday he's, he cast his vote early, like all of you should be casting your votes early. And amazingly enough, George Bush cast his vote for Senator McCain. That's, no, wait, 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 wait. That's no surprise. Because when it comes to the policies that matter to middle class families, there's not an inch of daylight between George Bush and John McCain. Not an inch. Like George Bush, John McCain wants to keep giving tax breaks to oil companies and CEOs and companies that ship our jobs overseas. It's the same failed Wall Street first, Main Street last economic policy that we are going to change when I'm president of the United States of America. McCain wants to tax your health care benefits from your employer for the first time in history. Like George Bush, John McCain wants to partially privatize your Social Security. Leave it to the whims of the stock market. Like George Bush, John McCain ignored this housing crisis until it was too late. 